Hello there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Specifically, how to use my life from the top of the mind philosophy to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I want to look at the subject of justifiable anger. You know, I think there are times when we find ourselves being angry or resentment, and we believe we are justified in that. We can point exactly to what someone said to us or did to us that, that gives us the right to feel that way. And of course, I would never say we don't have a right to feel however we want to feel. But let's look at what's underneath that justifiable anger, specifically about how it affects us. There's a quote from Doc Childry, who was a part of the heart math movement not too long ago. He says, you know, it really doesn't make any difference if anger and resentment is justified. The body doesn't make moral judgments, it just responds. So let's look at what happens when we get angry or resentment, resentful. See, what happens is that actually throws us into a experience, a way of being, a mode of fight or flight because the body thinks, okay, if there's something we are angry at, we must be in danger and we may need to fight it or run away from it. And so that anger, resentment, stress, frustration is all actually a series of chemical changes in our body. The chemicals for the most part are adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol, cortisol being the big one. So the job of cortisol is to rush throughout our body, shutting down our immune system, so we're more susceptible to illness, shutting down our digestive system where ulcers come from, shutting down our production of protein, which is what the brain functions on, and increasing our production of glucose. Because in a fight or flight situation, glucose is where we get our energy. But have you noticed when we feel justifiable anger or resentment, have you noticed it's rarely a situation we can deal with from a fight or flight perspective? I mean, very rarely we're going to go fight that person or even run away from it. So what we do is we sit there and stew in that justifiable anger. And in our mind, it's justifiable because we've justified it. And hey, we may be right, but here's the problem. The body doesn't make moral, moral judgments. It just responds. So it's dumping that adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol into our body. It's messing with our heart. It's messing with our blood pressure. It's messing with our health. It's really screwing with our well-being in a way that doesn't really serve us. It puts us in a position of chronic stress. And I'm not sure the person we're angry with, maybe someone cut us off on the freeway or didn't give us a service we want, or maybe it's someone we don't even know. I'm not sure if we want that person to be that important in our life. I'm not sure if we want to give them permission to throw us into that chronic stress. So I think what we want to look at when we're dealing with anger, resentment is, yeah, we have a right to feel it. It's very possibly justified. But is it really something that serves us? Do we really want to dump that kind of chemicals into our body and put us into that fight or flight response when we really can't deal with it either way? Or would we rather look at it differently? What would we recommend to someone we love? Because I think the challenge is when we get angry and resentful, we look for justification. And you know, often whatever we look for, we can find. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not so easy, but we'll find it. But that still doesn't affect how it affects us because in many ways, the body doesn't make Moral judgments, it just responds. So if you no longer want to give anger and people who trigger your anger, resentment, the power to throw you into that chronic stress experience, then what we've got to do is make some decisions about how we want to deal with that. Maybe they are telling us it's not someone we want to spend time with. You know, we only have so much time on the earth. There's a thing that says you are the measure of the five people you spend the most time with. Maybe this isn't one of those people. Regardless, I think what we want to do is look at that anger, that resentment, and ask ourselves several questions. Number one, am I doing this on purpose? Did I decide to feel angry? Probably not. Is it really working for me? Is it having the effect I want? Do I really want to put that in my body? Is this how I want to be defined? I'm a person who deals with this situation with anger, and I love the fourth one. Would I recommend that to someone I love? These are what I call top of the mind questions. They engage us up for 80% of the brain and allow us to bring a certain purposefulness, clarity, confidence, creativity, compassion to everything we do. 
So if you find yourself feeling a little bit more justifiable anger and resentment that works and then works for you, if you want to have more influence in that, I suggest we stop feeding that lower brain and get up into the top of the mind, get up into the neocortex, this upper 80% of the brain, where we make purposeful decisions about who we are and how we are going forward. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If you do, please hit the like button. You know how Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, love it when you like it. Share it with your friends if you feel it's valuable. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Friend me on Facebook. Follow me on LinkedIn. I try to post one of these each week. Also, if you would like for me to come and talk to your organization about how to have more influence over the kind of chemicals we're putting into our body, the kind of emotions we are feeding, all you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in. Love to talk with you about that. In the meantime, here's to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.